Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have a really interesting problem here. It's a function natural log with a sign inside, and we want to find if it has absolute minimum or absolute uh, maximum during a gif given period. Let's get started. The first thing, of course, we need to find out where the slope equal to zero for the first um, first derivative. So first derivative of this one using chain rule is 2 plus sine x, that's of the ln part, times uh, derivative of the sine, which is cosine. Okay, so we have cosine of x, 2 plus sine x. Now, in order to know if it's a maximum min, we're going to set this one equal to 0. Um, that will give us a c. But given this point, we need to know if it's a minimum or maximum, we do need the second derivative. It might be tempting to think, well, natural log, it's a, it's a growing function in that it, it's, it's keep on growing, looking like this. Um, but the safer part to do is actually find a second derivative. So let's, let's go ahead with it. The second derivative is take derivative of the first part, which is minus sine x. Leave the second part alone. Minus, leave the first part alone. Derivative of the second one, which is uh, cosine x. Okay. The whole thing divided by 2 plus sine x squared on the bottom. Okay, So we're just going to leave this one on the bottom uh, as it is. We're not going to bother to simplify it because all we care is to say evaluate at a certain point if the second prime Second derivative, if it's a positive or negative, that will give us if we have the minimum or maximum. Okay, but let's simplify the top a little bit. It's minus 2 sine x minus sine square x minus cosine square x. Okay, that's minus 2 sine x minus, if we put a minus sign here, you'll see this is a sine squared x plus cosine square x, which actually become a 1. Okay. Divided by the same thing that's squared on the bottom. So one more step, let's write it out. It's minus 2 sine x minus 1 divided by 2 plus sine x, the whole thing squared. Okay. Now having found out the first derivative and second derivative, we're going to go find where does the first derivative equal to 0. That gives us the extreme value. So setting this one equal to 0, which means cosine x 2 plus sine x equal to 0. Since x was restricted between 2 pi and pi, that means cosine x equal to 0. Okay, so the top we set it equal to 0. Given the restricted condition, let's draw it out. So cosine curve look like this for the first uh, period. And then we're looking for from pi onward to 2 pi. So here's our 0. Okay, the 0 happens at 3 pi over 2. Okay, So now we're going to evaluate f prime of 3 pi over 2, see if it's going to be bigger than 0 or less than 0. That's to know if we have a maximum or minimum in this restricted uh, domain here. This one is equal to minus 2 sine of 3 pi over 2 minus 1 divided by the whole thing squared. It's on the bottom it's positive, so I don't really care on the bottom. I'm just going to leave it there to save some time. Now minus 3 pi over 2, the sine curve looks like this. So this is minus 1 here for our So for our purpose, it's minus 2 times minus 1 minus 1 divide the whole thing squared. So this is 2 minus 1, which is actually positive. So this actually gives us the max. Now, um, let's see. Let's do a quick review. So given the equation, they're looking for uh, absolute minimum or maximum. The first thing we need to do is set to, to set f prime, first prime equal to 0. From there, it gives us a, um, a critical point to investigate. In order to know if it's a maximum or minimum, we do have to find a second derivative. Um, on the test, I would not recommend. I would not recommend recommend to just guessing since a monotone. You think you're going to get a minimum or maximum there, unless you know the graph exactly. 
for, for our purpose, actually, the two end points are the same. It looks like the curve in between is actually like this. So we do have a maximum in there, actually. Okay, but on a test, find the second derivative. It's a little messy, but slow down. Okay, I, I tell my students, slow down, it's fast. Okay. Now, once you simplify that, even then you evaluate the critical point to see if it's bigger than zero or less than zero. If it's bigger than zero, they actually give you the max. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.